Hi everyone! Um, there's a tag going around on YouTube about uh, things or five things that I regret buying or that I wouldn't buy again. Um, again, this is uh, nothing against these companies. Um, I'm, they're great uh, products for some people and for me they just didn't work. Um, the first thing that I regret buying is the Smashbox Fusion Soft Lights. It's kind of like a color wheel of different colors. And you mix it all up and put it on your face. It adds way too much shine. So I still use it. I'm going to use it for like highlights. But other than that, you can't put it all over your face. The second thing that I regret buying are the Rimmel London uh, eyeshadow um, and it comes with three eyeshadows per palette. These are right here. This is the green one. Got the purple one. And then I got purple, pink, and white one. Wow, the colors really don't show. Anyways. Um, these eyeshadows are really not pigmented. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. They just they just don't cover up as much as I like them to. Um, yeah, that's about it for that. <laughs> um, for the uh, third item that I regret buying is. I don't even know what company this is from. Physicians Formula Cosmetics. Okay, so this is like a three colored eyeshadow. And they come in like, they're like bubbles. And the thing I don't like about it is when you apply it, it's very easy to get the colors mixed up. And again, they're not very pigmented. Well, they are, but they're very translucent. You have to put a lot on. So that's the brown there. Eh, won't buy one of those again. Um, again, these are products that are probably great for some people. Um, they just didn't work on me. Um, another thing that I regret, I think I'm going to do more than five. I think it's going to end up being six or seven, but Another thing that I regret buying, or that I will not buy again, is the MAC Studio Finish Concealers in NC30. Um, it, it is exactly the same color as my skin. It doesn't look like it now, but anyways. It just turns orange after like an hour, so I don't know, I think, I don't know if it's a reaction with the oils on my skin or whatnot, but it just it turns orange. I look like a Oompa Loompa at the end of the day. Anyways, <laughs> um, the other thing that I bought that I regret buying is the Cargo Cargo Eye Base. So basically it's it's got a brush tip and then you just turn the bottom and then I don't know if you can see that but it comes off so easily and it's not sticky enough for an eye primer, that's what it's meant for. So it's, um, yeah, my eyeshadows end up creasing, um, it looks very oily, it, I don't know, it just doesn't stick. The next thing that I regret buying is, well, I don't regret buying the eyelashes, the, the, uh, Quo eyelashes, but it's the cool glue. It it comes out like a gel. It's kind of like a... It's all stringy. See, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it comes out stringy. Um, it, I don't know, it's kind of like using a glue gun. When you use a glue gun and then there's like strings everywhere. Same thing. Um, and I put my eyelashes on and like maybe half an hour later my eyelashes start coming off. Not cool. But the eyelash the eyelashes are great though. I like the eyelashes, those are cool. 
Yeah, so that's it for my, um, this is the, for the tag, the things that I regret buying. Um, again, these are products that are great, um, they just didn't work for me. Um, yeah, I think for the MAC one, I think the MAC Photo Finish, or the Studio Finish Concealer, I'm probably going to end up getting a different, um, I'm going to try the uh, N NW25. I have a sample of it. It's been working all right. I mean, it's it's covering the dark circles and everything, so hopefully that works. All right. Well, uh, I'm probably going to do a tag on things that I uh, can't live without um, next, so keep watching. Thank you.